Up next, fashion designer Larry Da Silva opens up about her dedication to the fashion industry and how she thinks fashion can change the world. Don't move a muscle. Larry Da Silva Ajayi is a renowned fashion designer in Nigeria. She holds a degree in business administration from Coventry University in the UK and a master's degree in finance from the University of Leicester. Her love for fashion stopped her from working a regular nine to five as she began to seek out opportunities in the then almost non-existent fashion industry. Ten years after, she stands as a pioneer designer in the Nigerian fashion world with recognition in other parts of the world. We believed more in actually going abroad to buy our pieces when we had big events in Nigeria. I even used to almost do it myself, you know. When I had a wedding to attend, I would have to actually sort of, you know, travel and get something to wear. That is a big change today. Having spent a considerable time in the UK, Lanray's style borrows from the traditional Victorian style. There are certain things that I know that over time I'm like, oh, I can't believe I did this um, eight years ago and I will actually laugh at myself. So I think sometimes about the um, experiencing and over time experience is actually, you cannot beat it. You must go through your own rights and wrongs and then with time you come to a perfect place. And I think that is where we are in Nigeria today because we're actually seen as a very fashion loving country and we're actually getting better in our dressing because in the past there's been very, very terrible wedding dresses. But today I've seen a big improvement. Working in an industry with no support structure was at first daunting. Gradually, she alongside a couple of other Nigerian fashion heads began to gain recognition. It just shows um, how Nigeria has come you know, we've grown in this industry. That's, that's the story, you know, because we went from that, we went from, um, I'm going abroad to get my clothes for a wedding that you're attending in Nigeria to getting designers to make clothes and even getting designers to make your wedding dresses. I think that is just excellent. And I think all of that is because we become more confident in ourselves. Um, we've actually recognized ourselves as a fashion growing economy because um, when I think of those that come talk to me about mentorship and all that, People, it's growing every day. We have thousands of designers out there today. And for me, I believe everybody has got their own aesthetic. You know, people always ask me like, oh, um, Larry, what do you think about this designer? I don't think, but you know, for every designer, remember that I was also, there was a lot of challenge for me as well. People looked at my style then and thought, who is going to wear it? So that's how they also look at somebody else today. But it's always good for you to come out with something new and different that is not yet existing in the country. I started, honestly, the sort of response I was getting from the few people making clothes with me was that they are not sure Nigeria is ready for this. And I remember my exact answer was that I will see how it goes. Obviously, studying business administration, moving back home, I was meant to actually work in the bank. Um, I deviated a bit from that because um, marriage, pregnancy, just thought, okay, let me try and see if I can do my own thing. You know, for women, there's still that sort of taking care of the family front. And that was how I actually sort of veered into fashion. And um, actually veered into it today for a while to go back. But um, I'm very happy where I am now. A few months back, Lanre, frustrated by the government's lack of interest in the fashion industry, made comments concerning the government's focus on sports, especially football. When it comes to um football and fashion, you know, you have to bear in mind that what um, surprises me sometimes is the way um, the noise about football, it's, it, it baffles me. It, and do you know how much the NFF is putting into football monthly? Have you thought of that? You'd rather they put the money in supporting uh, young fashion? 235 million naira monthly. Just imagine if that gets into my hands. I would actually be making about 100 entrepreneurs monthly. That would make, make 1,200 entrepreneurs yearly. 
her comments drew attention to former Super Eagles footballer Daniela Mokachi, who called her out alongside many other sports enthusiasts. Just to let you know that I love football myself. Yeah. In fact, when I was told to take it on, it was almost like, wow, am I going to be able to do this? Because, you know, we know that football has been there for centuries. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's interesting to see the end result. It was just 4%. percent That's to show you the growth of fashion. fashion. Obviously, I made the whole noise talking about how it's improved the economy. I had to do all that because people were not aware. I did some videos on my Instagram page where I spoke about the fact that there is makeup in the fashion industry, there is um, air accessories, there's the editors, the media people, the bloggers, the illustrators. I had to say all this because even the fashion people are not even aware of how we've all come. It's not just about designers alone. We have to correct that. It's everyone that makes up the industry to selling the fabrics. The machinists, the makeup people, the hair, the, the people selling the shoes. We now talk about the fashion illustrators. It's a wide, big industry. And all of that is under fashion. So tell me how it's not played a big role in this economy. It definitely has. An unrepentant fashion enthusiast, Larry de Silva has swum against the tide to greatness, fueled by strong passion, and her doggedness has helped her chart a path for the very vibrant and lucrative industry that followed.